What's up, D Buzz? What's up, D Bows? What's up, you guys? What's up, trolls? What's up, everybody? What's up, D Bows? D Buzz? YouTube family, what's up? What's up, everybody? So it's Wednesday. I hope everybody's having a really great day. We're about to do this real talk. Got my nails repainted in a red and girl look. Okay, why did it just break off today? I haven't had these nails on, but probably like since last Wednesday. Oh my God, I got them done on a real talk day on Wednesday. And now look, that's probably because they're so damn long now. But look, I'm pissed. I'm not even pissed, but it's, it is what it is. It was a good day though. Today was a really good day. Today is Mumsy's birthday. It's Monday, you know, it's Monday. I'm doing this real talk today, the 16th of August. And today is Mumsy's 14th birthday okay they be growing up too fast for me y'all like seriously too fast 14 years old what an amazing young lady she is such a sweet young lady for real she don't really give me no problems she don't she don't give me no problems at all like you know how you get those teenagers that just be just too much wild fresh back talk fresh boy crazy she is nothing like that she's just such a quiet kid and I'm just so thankful that she's nothing like that because I would be in jail if she was. I would definitely be in jail if she was. So I'm glad that she's not. But today is her B day. So this month is actually really a long, busy month for me. You know what I'm saying? I've had a lot going on this month. Um, you know, next Monday is my eldest son's birthday. He'll be 29 years old. They are a week apart. Yesterday, Sunday the 15th was made two years of my son Wuzzles, um, going home ceremony. Like there's a lot this month in August. So I just try to hold it all together and think about the good times and stuff. You know, I did go to the weight doctor this morning. I'm happy about that. Okay. I lost 5.8 pounds. Okay. I didn't do anything different except for eat different. Okay. Like, you know how, when they say you got to eat three meals a day, plus little snacks, cause that'll boost your metabolism. Be honest with you guys. Three meals a day is a lot for some people. I know for me, it's a lot. Like I'd be too busy to do three meals in one day. And I'm pretty sure that I'm not the only person who be like three meals. Plus you want me to eat some little snacks in between? Like that's a lot for me to do. So I just went back to, it wasn't that I went back to something. I think it was because I was kind of like pissed off about the whole weight loss journey thing so I was like fuck this I don't care I'm gonna just eat the way I've been eating N not one meal but I'm gonna eat two so I was just eating two meals and like a little bit of snacks I, I love me a bag of walnuts with um, almonds in it and cashews not so much the almonds because I could do it out the almonds you know almonds is kind of hard on the teeth I, look y'all know I had my teeth done so I'm not really trying to fuck them up but they're kind of hard on the teeth especially in certain areas for me so I mean I'll eat the almonds, but I really prefer like the walnuts and I love some cashews. You know, cashews is not cheap, y'all. But I prefer prefer the, prefer stuff like that. And like yogurt. My only the only yogurt I like is the Nusa brand. So I just went back to doing that and drinking loads of water. Oh, let me stop. I did I am lying about something. I did stop doing something. So my last glass of wine was Monday with y'all when I was doing the real talk. That was my last glass of wine, meaning I didn't have no more. I mean, I could have definitely went to the store and bought some more. But I didn't. I didn't go to the store and buy any more wine. I just figured, let me, let me try not to drink no more wine. Um, I was reading the comments. There was some comments that said wine gives you zero cal, um, it's empty calories, and you know. And then I do remember seeing things like you know how they be like beer belly and things like that. So I was like, you know, let me just not drink the wine because in reality, the wine don't do really much for me. Like it don't get me tipsy. I don't be drunk because I don't like getting drunk. But you know, wine is not gonna get you drunk like that. So I mean, unless you have some really good wine and a whole bunch of it, and I'm not drinking it like that. So. I just was like, I'm not going to drink the wine. So I'm not buying any more. And my addiction to trolleys candy, not trolls like on YouTube, but the trolleys candy. I haven't bought that since I think Tuesday was my last bag that I had and I haven't bought none. So maybe, you know, let me just, let me just cut down on some of these bad habits. So that's what I have been doing. Just eating regular, like I've been eating, but, um, not drinking no wine and not eating no trolleys. I mean, I do be having like them little salt, those, um, sweet tooth, um, you know, cravings or addictions, you know, 
So I bought these because this is what I used to eat before when I was um on my weight loss journey. I was losing weight. Is these the hard candies? I like I love hard candy like this, and I can't eat but so many. Trolleys, you know, you can chew them shits right on up. So I bought these, and I've been eating these, you know, and that this is good for me. So we'll see how it do, and I try to eat by a certain time. So we shall see how it do. But other than that, you know, ain't nothing changed. It's all the same over here, girl. Doing videos, you know, doing the things that I like to do. I am gonna do though a video for eyebrows. Okay, so this should be so much fun you guys because you know me I like to have fun girl I like to have a good time you know especially with you guys so I seen this and I know y'all like wait what now y'all know how eyebrow stencils you get a little eyebrow stencil you probably get like six or five or four or whatever different stencils well look I seen these on um, Amazon they come with 30, they're exactly the same though, the exact same um, template, so I, there's no need to even show you both, but 32 eyebrow stencil templates, okay, so this is how they come, like this, okay, there's 32 of these, and at the end, there's these little tiny holes, right, at the ends of them, there's these little tiny holes on each side, like right here, I'm see if I can get one out, and what you do is, you put this thing through it, which will go around your head, okay? So that way, there it goes. The stencil will stay on your head while, and I don't know how this is supposed to stay in here. Oh, look, the thing opens like this, so it clamps like that, so that way the metal piece clamps. So 32 of these stencils, and you can just put it on, and... They're eyebrow stencils. They have names on them. Um, we got crown eyebrow. They're like a, it's like a ruler. So I figured, let me try this out. It comes with this eyebrow shaver. Okay. And it came with, one of them came with a eyebrow gel. And then the other one came with the stencils, the this and this, and an eyebrow pencil. Okay with a dark brown pencil. So I was like, oh shoot, let's try this out. I have never seen one that came with 32 eyebrow stencils. And like, honestly, I have tried so many different eyebrow stencils and I really didn't care for them too much. I just rather just draw my own brows on and be done with it. But I figured this would be a cool, fun video. So we're gonna try this out. We are going to try to stencil 32 eyebrows. Not today, not on Real Talk, but I'm gonna do a video of uh, 32 eyebrow stencils girl now i know you gotta have your own eyebrows like listen i'm not about to shave i'm not about to pluck none of my real natural hairs for this so we're gonna make it do what it do we're gonna try to make it do what it do i'm probably not gonna have no makeup on you know just come through like my natural self natural beauty i will have some eyelashes on though and we're just gonna try these out in a video what y'all think about that let me know y'all thoughts on that other than that today was monthly's birthday like i said um, we went to the mall. I bought her a bear from Bills a Bear because that's what she wanted, a Pikachu. So she wanted that. Bills a Bear does add up. You know what I'm saying? Bills a Bear does add up. Then Nay took her and me to this Korean barbecue all you can eat kind of thing so you sit in the table at your own table and they have like a little cookers right there and you just cook your own food up and i already video recorded so i'll definitely you know show you guys that in the video so we did that which was really fun um tomorrow morning's tuesday i go to the doctor to get checked up for my legs and then thursday i go back i'm gonna just be honest with you guys i just really don't even want to do it no more for my legs like i seriously don't because it has my legs in so much pain like the day of the day after it has been almost two weeks since my first in treatment and my leg is so sore like it feels so stiff to move so stiff to lift up versus then my right leg it's it's very hard i can feel in certain areas where it's hard and on top of that sometimes your skin will start itching like I guess it's because of what they put inside of you it makes your skin itch and stuff it's just very uncomfortable for me and um, I really like it hurts and I really just don't want to be bothered with it anymore but you know let's see I just I, I really don't and I hate to be one to give up on something but you know you know how it's, you, you, it causes more pain than 
it does healing that's just how I'm starting to feel about it but anyway so I did read the comments of last real talk and y'all wanted to know about the FedEx guy that I was talking about who I said I would be looking for so let me tell y'all okay now first of all you know, I get packages delivered to my house out of seven days out of the week, at least like four days out of the week. Sometimes every day, sometimes less. It all depends. So, you know, sometimes those wigs are delivered by DHL, sometimes by the UPS, um, a lot of times by FedEx, right? So this has been going on, like, this has, like, been years now. And this is, like, you know, still a recurring thing, FedEx. So, like, a few years back, I don't remember how long ago, but I want to say this is 2021. So this had to be, like, since 2016, okay? Now, I don't really be paying too much attention to people but you know when you start seeing the same person over and over you know who they are after a while you know you answer your door they speak to you you know who they are you get familiar with them so there was two FedEx guys that will always come there was this older white guy and I thought he was older because of the way he looked and his teeth kind of find out he really wasn't but he would always speak to me and I would speak to him you know being courteous and then there was the other one which his name is Rich and I would speak to him too, but you know, he would drop the package off and go. So, you know, when you're not home for FedEx, and this is way before COVID where you had to sign for everything, you know, if you're not home for FedEx, they'll leave a note on your door stating that, you know, you have to call them. So one day, you know, I came home and there was a note on my door for the FedEx. It basically said they was going to deliver it the next day. And I was cool with that. Like, okay, fine. But probably like within an hour or so later, that same day, I get a doorbell ring. The doorbell ring. And it's the FedEx guy. Now, mind you, I thought it was a different one because there's FedEx Ground and then there's FedEx Priority. FedEx Ground is the one that just takes the longest. You really don't have to sign for anything. So I'm thinking that it was, and I've had both of them come to my house in the same day, okay? FedEx Ground and FedEx Priority. And FedEx Priority is rich and FedEx Ground is like this other guy who comes. So I'm thinking that it's FedEx Ground because you already left a note that says that you'll be back the next day. So come to find out, it's the package that was supposed to be delivered that day, but was supposed to come the next day. He came back to bring it, Rich. So he rings the doorbell and I answer. And, you know, basically I'm like, you know, oh, okay, thank you. You know, I didn't know that he was going to bring it back. So he said, well, I just wanted to make sure your package came to you. And he was like, here's my number in case, you know, you have any questions about your package or anything like that. You can always call me and I'll see what's going on. So this is what he said. Now, mind you. When he's come to my door plenty of times and I have spoken to him plenty of times like hey how you doing you know not like hey how you doing nothing like that you know what I'm saying just like hey how you doing what's up how are you thank you you know being courteous and he's spoken to me too never rude always spoken to me too so when I took his number down and I put it in the drawer and I was like oh, okay thank you I didn't really think anything of it um and he would just come. Now, after that, he started coming. And, you know, when you deliver a package, you're supposed to deliver the package and take your ass and go on. He would be standing at the door talking to me for, like, five minutes. Like, don't somebody else need a package? So then it got to the point where he was like, well, what do you do? Like, you getting packages all the time. Like, one time he was standing there with me and the freaking DHL guy pulled up and was delivering a package as he was standing there talking to me. And so, you know, I was telling him because he said, I have somebody else on this route that also gets packages delivered like how you do. And so, you know, I told him that they're wigs. And he's like, oh, you buy wigs? I said, no. You know, I told him what I did. And he was like, interesting. We was just talking. So we just kept talking. And, you know, I didn't really think anything of it. And so sometimes when I'm not home, my daughters will answer the door, you know? So at the time, my daughter Tati was living here, of course. And she was like, you know, the FedEx guy, Every time I answer the door, he seems like he has an attitude. And he'll always say, where's your mom? How's your mom doing? Where's your mom? But he'll seem like he has an attitude. And I'm like, oh, really? Well, he doesn't act like that. So my daughter, Tati, figured it out. And she's like, you know, the FedEx guy has a crush on you. I was like, the FedEx guy don't have no crush on me. Because half the time when I answer the door, I even put together. You know what I'm saying? So she was like, he does. Because he asked about you, said you was pretty, um, and that you know for us to have a nice day and tell you that he said hi and i was like okay but i still didn't think anything of it okay 
Well, my other daughter, Nay, said the same thing. But I didn't really think anything of it. So not only does he deliver here, but I did see him one time at Fry's Grocery Store. Fry's is Kroger's. And it's right down the street from me. So, and in Walgreens, which is right down the street from me. So one day I was in Walgreens and Fry's, but not on the same day. But I seen him in both places. Um, one day I seen him in fr from fr the first time I seen him out and about was at Walgreens. And I seen him and I was like, oh, you cheating on me by delivering other packages. He just came up to me and just kept talking to me and smiling like I never would cheat on you. I never would cheat on you. I still didn't think anything of it. So he kept coming back to my house delivering packages and he asked me one day, you still got my number? And I was like, yeah. He was like, why don't you give me a call? We can go out and have a drink. And I was like, oh, okay. But I still didn't think anything of it. Then he comes to my door and he's just, you know, he's delivering a package. He's telling me about how he um, bought a motorcycle and he want to ride a motorcycle to Mexico would I like to come along and he'd love to bring me to Mexico and now I'm still thinking nothing of it now mind you he's not bad looking at all he's Mexican he um he's like 6'3 like a teddy bear <sighs> girl look he have like this salt and pepper kind of like beard kind of like going on so friendly don't have no kids because we've had enough conversations you know what I'm saying and um he has like this really nice smile you know when you I told y'all already about people and they smile he got a nice smile and like I've seen him smile enough in my face so I was like, yeah, I have your number still, but I, I thought I did, um, but I don't, okay? Let me tell y'all, the last time I seen him was a few months ago, and I was at Fry's, and um, I'm asking him, and this has been going on for years, like, he would talk to me at the door, but I didn't really think anything of it, and then, you know, like, look, I got, I had somebody at the time, and, um, so, you know, I definitely was ignoring the signs. But the last time I seen him was a few months ago, and I was at Fry's grocery store. So, at the grocery store, I was like, where you been? I haven't seen you in a minute. You haven't been delivering packages to me. Some other FedEx people have been bringing them. He had to tell me that he had to split his route because it got so busy. So, now he had to split his route. I haven't seen him in months. I freaking tore the fucking drawer up looking for his phone number because I'm trying to find him and I don't know what to do like my daughter told me I should just call the local FedEx and just ask for him I don't know his last name but just ask for him he's been working for FedEx for 16 years okay because when he told me 15 years it was like probably like two years ago so probably like 17 years now he's been working at FedEx so you know he's like my age he might be like a couple years older than me or whatever um like I said he's Hispanic he's Mexican um he's nice looking he's like 6'2 six, 6'3 six, look like it's he's like not big big but he's big like a teddy bear like I don't really care for skinny guys to be honest with you because I'm not skinny okay and I would rather you have like some 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 belly you know what I'm saying like nice teddy bear like and I'm and not even in the gym type niggas I don't even I don't even like niggas that be in the men that be in the gym I don't like them workout men because because bitch I ain't working out like that so why the fuck would I want to be with you you know how they be like oh let's go to the gym no, oh, I think not. I don't want to be with any, I don't want to date anybody that likes to work out all the time. That's not, not cool for me. But like, you know what I'm saying? My, my kids kept saying, yeah, he got a crush on you. Yeah, he like you. He likes you. Like, I haven't seen him in some months and like, I really want to call FedEx and ask them, but like, what are you supposed to say? Like, what, what, what do you say to that? Like, um, I'm looking for the FedEx guy that used to deliver. I don't want to say like, oh, he gave me his phone number to call him because, you know, I don't want to get him in trouble. You, you know, they're not supposed to do stuff like that on a job. So, like, what, what would y'all say? What do I say to have them get my number? Like, I, I mean, I feel like maybe I should just be honest and, like, call and be like, hey, my name is April. I live in Avondale. There was a FedEx guy that was always delivering to me named Rich. And, um... I don't, I don't know what to say after that. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, I know they're not going to give me his phone number. I know that. But I, I just, I'm just trying to figure out what to say. I, I just don't, I don't even know what to say to y'all at this point. Like, I feel like a kid in high school, like, passing notes, do you like me? Um, and shit like that. And it's not that, like, I'm looking for, like, looking for love. But, you know, he is a nice guy. And, um... I do think he's really handsome and when my daughters kept telling me he had a crush on me I was like no he doesn't and then I would be blushing like oh you know he is handsome and I don't know I mean what do you say <laughs> I'm, I'm content with my life and I'm happy 
but I do think that he's handsome. He's he's a very nice looking guy, and um, I don't know when I see him out in public, like the like I was saying, like I seen him the last time in Fries months ago, and he was telling me how you know they changed his route. He had to share his route with somebody, and he was telling, and I remember exactly what I had on. I had on this shirt that has something about Sesame Street on it, and some jeans and a headband wig, and he and I had no makeup on, but he was like, "Look at you, you looking all pretty and stuff." Like, and I was like, "Oh, thank you." Like, I didn't know, you know how you be like so shy, like I don't know, I didn't know what to say. Like, I felt so awkward you know when you when you with somebody you've been with that same person for so long you 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 not used to any other man like complimenting you or you know it's just like an awkward moment and like I can tell that he was like hitting on me but I didn't know how to respond and he was like Coleman you got my number and I was like yeah I do but I thought I did and I don't have it so I don't he told me to call him so I don't know so I mean like I don't know I need y'all opinions on this okay I don't know that's 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 my story about the FedEx guy. You know what I'm saying? Like, just give me your opinions. What would y'all say? What would what would you do in this predicament? Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, we are going to get into this real talk, you guys, because this is going to be a long one. And I think that I have talked y'all ears off enough. So y'all already know what to do when it comes to real talk. You can send me an email to muffinismylovers2012 at gmail.com. Or you can send it to April's Real Talk at gmail.com um and if you want to change your name go ahead and let me know by saying um you changed your name but other than that this one like listen this one is long too but that's okay boo because this one is just as long but this is different okay when i read this i was like oh it's a man it's a man it's a man emailing me so this is a man emailing me um but let's get into this because um yeah i hope you guys will find it very interesting what's up miss april aka baby girl first i want to say thank you for having this on your platform where we as people can vent and voice our opinions and thoughts baby girl let me start off by saying you're a beautiful black queen. I started watching you so long ago because a friend of mine would always speak about your channel. He would tell me how much his girl loved this one YouTube channel called Muffin Something. Yeah, we as men would clown the profile name, no disrespect, but as I got to watch more and realize why your channel name is what it is, I realized why you call yourself that. But did he say he clowned the name? Like, wow, okay. Muffin something. Anyway, so what's good? You can call me Chuck. I'm a 35-year-old black man who is married and is about to be single again. So here, it, so here is what's going on in my life. I got married over six years to whom I thought at the time was the woman for me. We met at a party 10 years prior, 10 years ago. So I got married over six years ago to whom I thought at the time was the woman for me. We met at a party 10 years ago and have been together ever since. My wife, soon to be ex, you can call her Shelby, is a hard worker and also two months pregnant. I started noticing weird, weird transactions on my credit card and I say weird because the places she was visiting frequently were also places that someone I know also likes to visit. So I stopped by my parents' house a few times a week and my mother was telling me on one particular day how much my father loves going to this new place called Top Golf. I didn't think much of it. Like I said, I stopped at my parents a few times out of the week. My dad has been MIA at times when I show up to my parents' house. And mind you, I go alone because my wife currently is either out with one of her friends or running errands. So I just decided to stop by my parents' house when my wife is busy. Well, this one particular day, something told me to look at the credit card bill that just came in. Normally, I just pay online and don't even look at the charges. Well, this time I looked through every detail and it was so weird how I started seeing Top Golf on several days out of the week. <clears throat> I then started looking at dates and what day they landed on and times and then put two and two together. 
Shelby is going to top golf the same times as my pops. My wife is two months pregnant and long story short, I ended up confronting her along with, along with sitting with my mother and talking with her of the findings of my father. Of course, my mother confronted my father and he admitted to it as well. As my soon-to-be ex-wife admitted it to me also. Shelby has been trying too hard to make things right between us, but I don't see any need for that anymore. As for the late as for the relationship with my father and I, I have not gone to my parents because of this since then. I haven't been to their house. Shelby is trying to tell me that it's not my father's baby, it's mine. And she only slept with my father three times, which I don't believe either. My two sisters have been to my home to kick the door in and drag her ass outside and give her the business she rightfully deserves. I had to tell them they will not be doing this around this neighborhood. My father tried reaching out to me. I ended up blocking him. And honestly, I'm not sure how his and my mother's relationship is now due to any of this. I try not to act because I don't want to bring it up or any bad vibes with my mom. Baby girl, I'm not trying to say I am not the father, but come on, what would you think if it were you and the shoe was on the other foot? I got sisters sitting in their cars parked in front of my house waiting on Shelby to walk out so they can run up on her and I really don't want that to happen. I got a mother who is heartbroken and also ready to go upside Shelby's head with her good skillet pan. I got family members looking at me like I'm stupid as fuck and I'm ready to put her out or just walk out from it all. Who the fuck sleeps with their man's father? What type of thought shit is that? My father is in his 60s and got a nerve to be sleeping with his daughter-in-law. Whose baby is it? What would you do, baby girl? I'm moving out at the end of this month for a place to a place of my own. This would have been my first child, but who's to say it is even mine? All Shelby does is try to explain herself, but what's to explain? What would you do on some realness? What would you do? Thanks, Chuck. What would I do? I, you know what? Listen, let me tell you something. What would I do? Damn. I don't I don't even know. Like, what would y'all do? We got Chuck here who is, what did he say he was? We know he's a black man. And Chuck is 35 years old. And he's been with this young lady altogether 10 years, but married six of those years. God damn. So this is weird. This is this is crazy. So his wife Shelby um been going to Top Golf, okay? Now first he would go, he would go over to his parents' house, you know, stop by, shout him out while his wife was out either hanging with her friends or running errands. But his dad started being MIA, missing in action when he would pop up over to the house. And his mama started telling him, oh yeah, daddy liked this new place called Top Golf. Now we got one of those out here. I've never been to Top Golf. I've been inside to retrieve my son's, um, he left his, his wallet there. So I went to pick that up because it's closer to me. I've never played golf in there. So I don't really know what's so good about it, but I see like a lot of people in there. He been popping up over his mama house and the daddy has been there. He been going to Top Golf. And now you know, I really wouldn't think nothing of it either because you know, older people, they love to play golf. But I do, I have heard by my son that this place, this Top Golf place is pretty pricey. So anyway, um, when he would go over there, dad wasn't there but Shelby wasn't at home his wife wasn't at home so he figured I'm gonna go chill with the fam for a minute and see how they doing since I'm home alone well dad wasn't there either so he just was chilling with mom Chuck was just chilling with mom and he the type of guy seems like he don't even read the details in any bill he just pay the shit and just be about his business I could see that sometimes I'll do that on certain bills like the electric bill or the water bill like there's really no details. Bitch, I know I ran the water. I used the water and I know electricity. I use that shit too. So, I mean, I really can't say, well, who was using this electricity? There's really no reason for me to read the details on it. Just see how much is, is ready to be paid and bitch pay the bill. But on the credit card charges, I definitely would because, like, you don't know. Somebody might have got a hold of your credit card. So, you never know.
So I guess on this particular day, he finally decided to read the details of the credit card bill. And lo and behold, guess what was on there? Quite a few times, he said, on certain days and times that he done popped up at his mom's house. Top golf. Okay. Now listen, I know for a fact that Top Golf is not a hotel because it's Top Golf and they got golf and stuff in there. Even though I ain't never played no game, I have been in there once and I drive by it that's many a times. I know it's not a place where you take people and go have sex with them. So is she just chilling and hanging out with the dad? But she did say that she only had sex with his father three times. Girl, first of all, I wouldn't even admit it to that shit, okay? Because that you know you a dead ass, nasty ass, dirty ass, dead ass, fucking wrong. How dare she? It's you know what? It's wrong to cheat on anybody, but goddamn, you gonna go fuck the elder, the elderly? Like goddamn, he said he in the sixties, so you gonna go fuck the elderly? Like who does that? And on top of that, you gonna go fuck the elderly, but you gonna go fuck the elderly who is your husband's father? Like, do you have any type? any type of pride like like do you do you have any do you hold yourself up in a good standing man like i mean could you imagine that you find out that your wife just was fucking your father and not only just fucking him but she pregnant by two months by, by whoever. I can't say it's by the old dude. And I can't say it's by Chuck. We don't even know. It might not be either one of theirs. But Chuck, I'm not saying this in the bad. I'm not saying this to get anything rolled up. But I'm going to just say this. What would I do? Honestly, I, I don't know. I, 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 I don't know. I mean, what would y'all do if you was in a predicament and you found out that your husband was fucking your mama like like what would you do like because that's the same thing like I, I i know that i would be so hurt i would be so hurt so 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 hurt and okay like you want to forgive your father because that's your father and you you don't want to sever ties with him because of some pussy like you you know women come a dime a dozen men come a dime a dozen you know what i'm saying you can always find someone else once you have healed and, you know, been able to get over things. But you ain't never going to find another parent. And, like, if y'all have a good relationship, which it seemed like y'all did, because your parents are still married, you was going over there kicking in with them. So it seems like y'all still had, like, good family home values and just bonding together. But then maybe you didn't with your dad or maybe you thought you did and in reality he was just out there trying to regain his youth again i want to know honestly like where did this all start like did shelby come on to him or did he come on to her or vice versa or you know how shit just happens like you know what I'm saying how did they hook up he did not explain that and i'm pretty sure that shelby probably didn't either but at least she was honest to a certain degree and admitted to the fact that she was sleeping with his father but she really still wasn't honest because she didn't use all those excuses of going out with friends and running errands to go shack up and link up with chuck's dad so you you weren't honest with him and you still cheat on him and that's not honesty that's not honest now on top of that you used his credit card i mean at least at least you used his credit card to take his dad out but still it still ain't cool you are doing the right thing chuck by moving out and finding your own because let me tell you something you don't want to be around somebody that has brought you animosity and anger towards your own kinship your own kin like you don't want to be around someone like that and not saying that you and your father can't come back as a unity but you know what i'm saying right now is y'all are not on good terms and for you to sit there and have to look at shelby on a daily basis that shit probably eating you up inside and pissing you off especially to see her growing stomach her growing belly and then you looking at her all type of ways like who baby is that like you know what i'm saying that that either could be your baby or it could be your brother like you know what i'm saying like and, and i hate to say it like that but it could either be your baby or it could be your brother okay because who knows and that's a feeling like who the hell wants to live with somebody and feel that on a daily basis that shit will make you go insane and go crazy so i really feel like what you're doing by moving out at the end of the month and getting your own place is a plus
that right there was the best move ever like seriously and like it's always a nice a beautiful thing to be there with your wife and your baby but listen your wife wasn't really there for you she done went and slept with your father and and going out with him going to top golf like let's be serious let's be for real now you fucking the elderly and y'all know even though he's 60 years old that don't mean he can't have no kids men will reproduce at the age of 80 okay it's the women that can't have the kids at a certain after a certain age it's not healthy for them but a man could reproduce okay so he can't say well i can't have no kids because yes the fuck you can and she can't say that because bitch yes the fuck he can okay it just sucks that you see families like that like this that's torn apart and what makes it so even more sad is the fact that this was his first kid and he don't even know if it's his or not like this woman has really struck a nerve to me like you you have a you have a, a good man is hard to find okay and i'm not saying he's the best because we don't really know but we know he ain't doing that she he ain't gonna fuck her mother she ain't writing to me telling me that he was fucking her mother either way it was so treacherous and so trifling and grimy and what i would do i would leave that bitch the fuck alone i'll see you after you have that baby make sure you get a blood test so that way we can find out whose baby it is and then after that bitch make sure you get them divorce papers signed because then we're gonna have a divorce and even if it is your baby i'm not saying go back home to her because in the back of your mind you're gonna have this thought about her being with your father and and like how is that supposed to work out like okay we forgive everybody we find out that the baby is actually chucks and everybody gets back together as being a family and then when it comes to family gatherings like thanksgiving or christmas are we going over to your uh, to the in-laws to the parents house because that's a very awkward position um situation we got shelby and chuck sitting at the dinner table with his mother Chuck's mother, Chuck's father, who she done fucked, and the sisters who want to beat that bitch ass. Like, and on top of that, we got the bitches, the sisters outside waiting for Shelby to come out so they could whip her fucking ass. What did I tell y'all last week about meddling ass sisters? They stay in people's business. They don't know how to mind their business. They always run in their motherfucking mouths in the business. Trust me, I know how that feels, okay? But not my sister, though. Not my sister. But we got Chuck's sister sitting outside in a car parked waiting for her to come outside so they could whip her ass. They don't even give a fuck if she's pregnant. They still want to fight her. Like, where are we doing this at? People, let's not do this. You know what, Chuck? You need to tell your sister she's definitely not worth it. She's definitely not worth it because she did it to you. Guaranteed that bitch going to do it to somebody else with the next man she get and go fuck with. She's she's a thought. She's a thoughty thought. If you have a woman and if that bitch can fuck your father while you married to her or even dating her and she can fuck your father, that is a bitch you don't want to fuck with. She is a thotty thought thought. And you can't bring her around the family no more because she didn't already stirred up the pot, stirred up enough shit. So what would I do? I would leave that bitch the fuck alone. Straight up, I would leave that bitch alone. And if that's your baby, great okay get the baby on the weekends or whenever bring it around the family members and that's that but don't bring that bitch around the family members no more there is no way for you to even be with her again okay like seriously what y'all gonna live in a cave y'all gonna live on a deserted island where it's just you her and a baby because if you stay with her your sisters are gonna kick your door in and they're gonna kick her ass you can't bring it to no family functions not only is it your sisters but the rest of your family is looking at you like you dumb as fuck and where you gonna bring her to you gonna have to have private moments with her for the rest of y'all fucking life together so why even bother what i would do is i would leave that bitch the fuck alone and what i would do about my pops is i would let it die down for a minute before i go talk to him you know what i'm saying but but you do need to have a nice manly conversation with him and maybe y'all should go out together and have a good talk because i don't think that it would be fair to talk about the situation in the home where your mother resides at that's not fair to her because she's already been through enough and i'm pretty sure that she don't want to see or hear nothing else about this trifling ass Thought, thought, thought. That's just my opinion. You know what I'm saying? Like, if you want to talk to him there, you could. But me personally, as a woman, I, I don't want to hear no more about that shit. You already cheated on me. That shit will fucking fuck with a person mental for a minute. So don't talk about that shit around your mother. 
bring your dad out, bring him to let him come to your place. What I tell y'all before, if you really want to have a serious conversation with somebody and not get into an altercation, take them out for early morning breakfast. Okay, you know the elderly people, they love to go out early in the morning. Okay, hello. I like to, I ain't elderly, but I do like to go out early in the morning. But take him out for early breakfast, your dad, go to IHOP, wherever, you know what I'm saying? Have him sit across from you and y'all have y'all talk then about the situation. But I'm not saying do that no time soon, but let it die down. But what you do need to do is leave that bitch the fuck alone. Get get your place and get the fuck up out of there, for real. What's pathetic, though? This is what's going to be the bad part about it. If it is his baby, you know, that bitch going to try to bring him to court and say, oh, I'm taking child support out of him, blah, blah, blah. What you need to do, Chuck, is make sure that you dot your I's and cross your T's and make sure that you keep record of anything that she's done said or did to you. And, and, and also keep your credit card receipts that you have found out this flaming ass T about. Keep those. So that way, when you do end up going to court and if she tries to downgrade you, belittle you, or anything like that in front of the judge... Here's your proof of why this bitch is talking reckless at the mouth, Judge. Because for one, I ain't never done no shit wrong to this bitch, but she want to go fucking people's fathers and shit. It's either going to be your sibling or your baby. That's that's what it is. That's what it is. Or it could be neither. N nothing at all to you. Sometimes when you cheat, you got to pick the right person to cheat with. And picking somebody's father is not cool. Like, bitch, you didn't go nowhere out of the relationship to cheat. You going to cheat on the man inside the home and family. Like, come Come on, who the fuck? Let's keep it in the family. Not cool. Definitely, definitely not fucking cool at all. And I'm so sorry, Chuck, that you have to be going through this. I'm sorry to anybody who has to go through any type of heartbreak because come on, man. You build yourself up. You be so happy about a relationship and then you come to find out the person is nothing but a trifling ass, cheating ass, lying ass, fucking raggedy ass bastard. Like, oh my God. See what I'm saying? That's why another part of me is like, I'm good. I don't want to be in a relationship. I don't. People be crazy. They do crazy shit. Okay? People do crazy shit. There be a bunch of weirdos out there in the world. And I say this to y'all all the time. I know y'all probably like, bitch, stop watching all of those fucking shows. But those shows are helpful to me because they give me signs, red flags to look the fuck out for. Oh, oh that nigga brushed his teeth too hard. Let's not talk to him. Oh, look how he saw it. I'm, yeah, stay away from him. He's a weirdo. I, look, I be... Girl, look, I be watching them shows. I told y'all a bunch of weirdos. I'm happy being single. I like my little single life here. Okay, I ain't got to be aggravated and stressed out. But I tell you what, the next man, a boyfriend that I do good, do get, girl, he definitely ain't living here in my house. And please don't ring my doorbell every day to come see me. And don't call me all the time. I don't. I don't like for. I don't want you to call me every single day. Well, you can call me and text me, but you're not coming over here all the time. You're not spending the night over here. You're not moving your stuff in here. You're not having a toothbrush here or a pair of socks or none of that. You better hope that I invite you into my home because I might not even do that because I have daughters and I don't be letting nobody around my kids if it ain't their father. So, you know what I'm saying? I'm. That's just me. You have to live somewhere else. Like, please, let's not make a habit of coming over here and ringing my doorbell because you will be forgotten real quick and like who who ring my doorbell i don't know you okay that that that'll be me but yeah chuck my opinions my advice to you move out get your shit whatever bills or anything you got in your name in that household that you share with shelby honey start to getting them taken out of your name now do not leave any type of anything on over there at y'all home that y'all share together because the bitch already done fucked you over don't let her fuck your credit over okay but i love you all make sure you rate comment subscribe and i'll see y'all in the next one Real trap shit.